Uh, one day, I got a call from the Presidential Assistant for Central Visayas and asking me if uh, the President is offering you if you're interested to become Secretary. And um, honestly, it was just something that, uh, you know, a challenge I was looking for. Honestly, I was getting bored in Congress. Uh, I felt I could, uh, I've done everything I could already as a Congressman. Okay. Uh, which was really just helping one person at a time, you know, because you're a legislator. Yes. Right? So the, the only way you can actually directly impact others positively is through your actual help right. to, to others. You know, the, the people you encounter, whether it's um, uh, medicines or schooling, uh, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I felt that as fulfilling as that was, there was frustration there as well. Okay. That, you know, I mean, one person at a time, yeah. you know, I mean, that takes a long time. And coming from Cebu, I understand the role that tourism can play right, in development. Mm -hmm. uh, and being my, uh, my um, background, academic background was also in development studies. Right. So this was just a challenge where I, I could put into practice what I've learned, what I believe in. Okay. Right. So I, I, I accepted the challenge and, and here we are. are. You're very successful. Um, what's your top three restaurant in the Philippines? Wow. <laughs> Off the top of your head. You know, I think it's because I studied, yeah. it's because I studied in Japan. Uh, I always look for Japanese food at least once a week. Okay. Uh, in Cebu, what I shared with you, nonki. Okay. Like, I love nonki. And then in um, in uh, Manila, I always eat in Serena. Oh yeah, of in course. Little Tokyo. Yeah, that's the best. Yeah, yeah, I always eat there. And uh, Edu and I in the the office, we always have uh, good Chinese food once a week. From. Uh, uh, golden. What's the name of the restaurant? Yeah, it, it's a it's a restaurant that started out in Malate, okay. And now they put up a restaurant right across the department, uh, Golden Something. Okay, right? very good Chinese food. Okay, right? So once a week we we have Go that, there. and um, I'm a sandwich person as well. Okay, right. So um, I always look for it's so convenient, right? You're busy, yeah. especially in the lunchtime. So is there a particular sandwich? Sandwich, uh, again, because of my workplace, it's always easy. I just order from Manila Pavilion. Okay. And they have great sandwiches there. They're roast beef. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about in Cebu? What's your top restaurant in Cebu? Ah, it has to be Yusepe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You, you have to try their uh, grilled lamb ribs. Wow. Uh, yeah. So, I, I, I'll be going there. Um, so, uh, aside from food, what's your top three destination in the Philippines? Oh, well, you know, it's not the destination for Or me. activities, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, Cebu is my home. Okay. So, I, I, I always go there. And the nice thing about Cebu is you have all the amenities of uh, urban, a cosmopolitan place. But 30 minutes out, you can go island cruising already. Right. Right. Um, I love Davao because of the adventure experiences in Davao, whether it's uh, uh, tre mountain trekking, uh, white water rafting, okay. right? uh, I, I, I love that. And another place I really like is uh, Palawan. Okay, which area? Puerto Princesa is wonderful, it's developing nicely. Uh, up north in um, with the Kuruan Buswanga, El Nido, Tai Tai, these places yeah. out there. It, it's because the, the, the landscape it's nothing wow. like any other place yeah. in the country. That's my number one too. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, Philippines is still considered as an off the beaten path. You know, we're not in part of the international route of airlines or That's you know, cruise ship does not dock there. Um, what, what do you think that is and what are we? You know, we what can are we do? We are a, you know, a developing, I mean, we, we are one of those places where we can still present it as a new destination, right? And that has actually been 
the strategy that we've been mm. taking in especially in Europe when yeah. they've been going to Thailand and in Bali because there's a cycle yeah and after a time the market looks for a new destination okay and we are that is our strategy okay. of presenting the Philippines it's a new destination, destination. Okay. right and uh, of course as you develop you can't be new destination forever forever right okay. the, the nice thing about it is that we just really provide such a diverse unforgettable experience right. that uh, I don't th we, we can outperform that cycle you know, we will never become a tired destination yeah. because we offer so much diverse experiences that every island Every province that you go to, the charm is different. Yeah. Right? We're all Filipinos, yeah. right? We have a common culture, but for some reason, every time you go to different places, the charm is different. Yeah. Right. The the, the, yeah. the experience is quite different. Yes. It, that is just such an asset for the Philippines as a tourist destination. Um, one of the things that I've been talking with my friends and help to help tourism is that Manila is often like bypassed by tourists. How sure. can we like entice them to stay? like a day or two in Manila? They usually do. And in, 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 in fact, we've found markets that they don't go to our oh, beaches, really? Which one? but they just want what's in Manila. India, right now, India and Vietnam. In Manila? Oh, yeah. What, what do they... The shopping, the, the culinary. Okay. Uh, of course, some of these markets, like for example, some parts of uh, China, um, even ASEAN. Yeah. Uh, gaming yeah. or gaming you know so but uh, the shopping experience in Manila has become I mean such a grand experience yeah. already and the thing about it is that they're not going there to buy ultra the, the high luxury items, items. they yeah. go there to buy our brands uh -huh. Filipino brands Filipino brands they find it such uh, of value especially for everyday wear yeah. they call it everyday wear yeah. even singaporean mid-level executives go to manila to shop for their wow. wares really? yes uh, how, how about uh, filipino food uh, what are the plans for promoting filipino food um, or what are your thoughts on sure uh, three years back we started travel cafe philippines yes yeah in in, in fact uh, there is an offshoot of that here in Singapore, the 7107. Oh, yes. Right? Uh, there is one in uh, Tokyo, yes. which is very successful. Yes, yes, yeah. Uh, there are plans to open up in um, Abu Dhabi, in UAE. Okay. Uh, then the challenge is always location. Okay. Yeah, because we don't want it to be in a secondary location. location. We want it to be in prime. So uh, the tourists love it? or the it's, it, it is such a great way to introduce Filipino cuisine in an elegant setting where at the same time you push our destinations yeah. and travel to the Philippines. Oh, okay. Okay. So that's, it, the that's right. That's, the, that's what the, and the Travel Cafe has been around for four years and it's just, you know, it has a life of its own now. It has a life of its own. Last question. After your term as DOT, what's next for ACE? I, I know I'd still be involved in, you know, seeing uh, this country realize its full potential. Yeah. Uh, one thing, I've, I've always had this in my mind, but the one thing that it just got strengthened uh, being here is that we are so blessed. Yes, yeah. Natural, uh, our natural blessings, the attitude and aptitude of the Filipino. I, I feel that the only uh, missing ingredient is that we're not utilizing it well. Okay. And I want to be part of that. Right? I want to be part of seeing us realize our full potential. Okay. So whatever that might be, I know it's going, still going to be along those lines. Okay. Any last message for our awesome planet leaders? Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for being with us here, uh, for being part of this journey of developing Philippine tourism. I always say promoting Philippines is not the job for the secretary alone. It's everybody. It's everybody's job. It's every Filipino's job to promote the Philippines. So I hope all of you will do your part.